All right there, guys. The reason I'm bundled up like an Eskimo out here is today I want to test out the Vero X1. The conditions today are pretty brutal. I think it's about 44 degrees, but the wind is howling. So, and it's rainy. It's February in the Midwest, and this is what you have to do. So, Vero X1, check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need a palm away, yeah. Gotta hit more greens. My game's of... All right, guys, so we got 104 into this pin. And instead of me hitting a full 48, the front pin, so I'm going to take a, take a pitching wedge in these cold conditions. And if I hit it past the pin, I should be fine. All right, I didn't particularly hit that ball very well, so it might be on the front fringe. It's hard to see it here in these conditions. Might be on the front fringe or just on the front edge. All right, guys, so this ball trickled on. Just caught the front edge. These greens have been fertilized for the winter. So, gonna be pretty bumpy putting over fertilizer, but they'll make the course really nice. The greens are really nice in the spring. That one rolled pretty true anyway. All right guys, so that hole was downwind, shorty downwind. Now we've got a 390 yard par four into the wind. So this is going to be a challenge. All right guys, I did not hit that ball great. Maybe a tad right of the fairway. Bad drive at the wrong time. I got 184 right into, right into the teeth of the wind, uphill. I'm gonna say this shot is probably playing closer to 210. So I'm gonna hit a three wood up there and gotta keep it left of this tree. Let me hit a little fade in it, to it. Mm. All right guys, we forgot the fade part. So that is definitely left of the green. The green is a little wet, so I'm gonna try a little lower shot here. Not a great lie either. Oh, 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 <laughs> All right, I guess that's how you chip them, guys. That's what's wrong with my game. I just need fertilizer on the green to help the ball go in the hole. All right, guys, so, so far I'm one out of two with this encore off the tee. Last drive was not very good, but somehow we pitched it in for birdie, so. All right there, guys, so we got 92 yards to the pin. The wind is definitely into us and it looks like it's moving a little bit to the right now too. Made a 92 yard, made a 48 degree wedge. It should be a pretty full one with this wind. Wherever it lands is where it's gonna stop too. Felt pretty good. I picked it right off the turf. See where it's at when we get up there. All right guys, so this ball actually went further than I thought with the with the encore here. Can't find the mark amongst all the fertilizer, but it had to fly pretty much back here because the ball, it's so wet. See if we can go back to back. No. I'll take it. It's getting a little colder and a little darker. So I'm gonna play one more hole. I'll play a 354 yard par four uphill. We'll see what this Encore Vero X can do on this hole. Encore, that's a really good name for a golf ball. The big tree just left of the bunker. All right there, guys, so we got 146, the back pin, back center left. I'm going to hit a 7 iron. It is downwind. However, the wind doesn't affect the downwind shot as much as it does against the wind. So I think 7 iron is still the club. I don't know, guys, that was going more towards the left side of the green. We'll see when we, when we get up there. 
All right there guys, so this ball did not get there. Looks like we've got about 30 feet up, a little bit uphill. All right guys, there you have the outdoor performance of the Vero X1 in these cold, crappy conditions, but the ball played pretty good. But let's go inside, check the numbers and see what we get. Check it out. All right guys, so I matched up the Encore Vero X1 with the Tylus Pro V1. So we're gonna compare those numbers. From 50 yards, the Encore launched about three degrees higher than the Tylus Pro V1. The spin was 160 RPMs more. Uh, the descent was about three degrees steeper with a peak height one yard higher. So from 50 yards, the Encore really performed well. Had a, would have a lot of stopping action with those numbers. With the seven iron, the Encore Encore matched the Pro V1 in ball speed. The launch was really close, but the spin was 400 RPMs less than the Pro V1. The descent about one degree steeper and the peak height one yard higher. The carry and the total matched up pretty close to the Pro V1. The ball didn't do too bad there. The only thing I would like a little higher spin with the 7 iron. With the driver, the Encore was one mile per hour slower, the launch about one degree higher, and the spin was pretty close, only 100 RPMs difference there. The descent one degree steeper, the peak height one yard lower, and the carry and the total numbers with the driver matched up really well with the Pro V1. All right there guys, I hope you enjoyed my video on the Encore Vero X1. To see where another Encore ball rank the Encore Elixir in the five best balls review, check out the video to my right. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. Now, hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back in this. An outside shot, you still can win this.